morning beautiful people welcome back to another video today it is a friday i'm so excited i have some stuff to do but not a crazy crazy amount but tonight we're actually gonna go have some korean barbecue which is what i have been waiting for for months since lockdown like korean barbecue is just like one of my favorite things especially because i've been watching so many korean shows but i want to show you guys the pants i'm wearing because i've never had pants that fit me and that aren't like super long which is crazy because i'm really short so always i have to alter things but this is perfect i feel like i'm standing very very far back but this is my outfit of the day these are kind of like flare pants and they're like in at the moment they kind of like go like in this v type of shape at the top but my jumper's covering it but look at this like they're just like the perfect length that I'm just so excited and I, they were only $10 from I think Shein so I'm very excited about them it's very rare to miss shopping from there but this is also Hal's outfit of the day I feel like I'm slowly starting to try wear more cooler stuff cooler stuff because usually when I'm at the warehouse I just wear, wear like very basic things because I'm just like so into it but I'm feeling more like myself again I just always wear black so like I've noticed, I've been wearing color, have you noticed? I've been adding more color because black is just very furry at the moment because of the dogs and I can't be bothered lint rolling myself all the time. <laughs> I just don't lint roll myself ever. If you guys ever meet him and you see him, look at him closely, you'll see fur all over the place. So I'm rocking a uh, CDG uh, long sleeve. Oh, I didn't even realize, I just thought it was a normal long sleeve. And, and the weird thing about these CDG long sleeves is this, like. It's just straight. Yeah, it's just straight. And then uh, some Uniqlo crop pants and some Yeezys. Fun fact, actually, they're not crop pants. We've just cropped them for him. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're, they're proper suit pants. And then I tailored them. And, uh, and what are these Yeezy foam runners? Foam runners. What number is it? They're foam runners. There's oh, no there's numbers. no number? Oh, I feel stupid. <laughs> and I've got some brand new S. I don't know if you guys ever see this in the background. I always wonder what it is. Those seats there are for the CRX. Those are Recaro SR3s. Brand, brand brand new man this is honey she's naked today <laughs> babe, babe look at her in the camera oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that what is that just doing a bunch of customs now excuse these little side bits those are just my little watermarks but we're doing orion lola and lola so you guys know orion he's like josh and lola's child and he's freaking good. but i want to show you guys i got a delivery so let's unbox it and see what's inside not gonna lie i have no idea i'm not not had no idea but i don't even remember what i ordered because it was a while ago but i've been recently asking for a bunch of like skincare recommendations and sunscreen recommendations i'm trying to wear sunscreen more every single day especially now that i'm getting older you definitely should be wearing sunscreen and that's something i failed at doing so i bought from ultra violet this was like a really really high, highly recommended place to get sunscreen from and the reason why i got from them as well is because it had a sale so i think everything was like buy one get one free but by the time i looked at it a lot of the things were sold out oh my god the packaging of this is actually super super cute comes with that this little note right here it's pink and blue on the inside which is like their theme colors comes with like this little cute card thing honestly i thought i ordered more but i only have three things so the first one is this little sps 50 plus i'm not sure if this is for the face but i do know that it's waterproof so i'm gonna have to definitely look online to see what that is this one here is called clean screen which is spf 30 plus i think this is for everyday use apply it directly to face as part of your skincare regime okay so this is for your face right here this one here is just for your skin i guess and then in here this is the one i'm pretty sure that everyone recommended getting which is just like their normal spf queen screen sunscreen lightweight sunscreen so with me, I hate sunscreens that feel so thick and heavy and really smell like sunscreen. So that's why I've been using either like this, uh, this Japanese one, but I realized I should not be using Japanese because our sun is completely different to Japan sun. So we definitely need to be using Australian standard sunscreen. And now I've started using a one called Hawaiian Tropics, which is pretty good, but I don't know if that was causing my rashes as well because of the coconut. So I started freaking out. So I'm gonna be using this one here and a bunch of these and we'll see how they go i think this all together there's actually no invoice in here 
but I don't think I paid more than $50 for this, which is pretty good. We are done for the day. Obviously, we, as you guys can see, we're clearly back home. Just had to drop the doggos off because we're gonna head to dinner, as I mentioned earlier. We're gonna go to Korean barbecue. I'm definitely not gonna bring this camera because it's just so chunky and big, but I might film little bits of what we eat on my phone. I'll see how we go. But we're also upgrading to the new iPhone 13 Pro Max very soon. I already ordered it online. I'm waiting for it to be delivered. House is on the way because he ordered the graphite one. I think it's not as popular, but because I ordered the silver one, it might take up to two weeks. So I'm so excited for that. Might be able to film if Hal lets me a little bit more on my phone because it's just so much more convenient rather than carrying this big thing. Because at the moment now, all I ever do is just carry my phone. I hate carrying a bag and then just carrying this camera. As you guys can see, it's just so, so, so chunky and so big. But yes, I'm also finally wearing my shoes out. It's We've been in lockdown forever that I never really get to wear these shoes because we haven't left. But I'm wearing my Dior's. I'm so excited. It is now the next day. We're continuing on the video and we're here at Southwark Depot. We have not been here in so long. I really want to go like to the Nike store because they always have crazy sales out of that store and just buy a bunch of stuff. But I'm having some udon, which I'm so excited about. I tried something different. Usually I get tempura prawn, but today I got the beef one. Forgot, but there's a champion at South Wharf. This is definitely new. We always want to get some reverse stitch hoodies, but Hal says reverse they don't weave. have any. Reverse weave. reverse weave. Let's see if there's goodies. So we realize I actually have a lot of reverse stitch stuff. Some are on reverse sale. Weave. Reverse weave, sorry. But, like, but it's, it's got like, like looks like it got like paint splatters all yeah. over it. <laughs> and some things are still expensive. Like this is $90. And then it's like 25% off, I think. Oh yeah, so yes, yeah, paint splat hoodie. Oh, it is paint splat, I was right. <laughs> Finally back home now. We didn't vlog that much whilst we're out. It was a bit hectic. CFO, there were so many sales for female clothing. Like I'll do a little bit of a haul later, but I got so much and all I spent was maybe I think 50 or 60 dollars. I we, spent 50 or 60 dollars on freaking two towels. On, on towels. So we'll show you guys. Ooh. But we're gonna do a bit of a two DIY towels. right now because we bought some grass at Bunnings. So if you guys saw in one of our videos a while ago. We actually bought this thing right Ooh, here for the bugs. doggos. Oh, yeah, like we need to throw that away. Bugs. So we're gonna replace this grass right here with that one you because you guys can see. Yeah, this one needs to be thrown away. I'm gonna like wash it. Okay, I'm gonna close this door for a sec. And then over here, if you guys can see, I bought this right here, which is so cool because it's grass, technically for cats, but. It's going to be for Honey and Biggie, so Biggie and Honey can either pee on it or they can eat it when they have like a stomach ache. It's going to be good. We have transformed Honey and Biggie's little pee area. It looks so good. How cut it so it perfectly fits and we're able to manage to get two pieces because this was really long. So like in a month's time when this grass is not that new anymore, then we can just change it. And this is the little fake grass we got. It's a little bit low, this thing, so Hal's just putting some like excess cutoffs to make it higher innovative oh cute oh my god that's really smart is the other one like that no. yeah you should do that too wow that's so good oh my god i love it they're gonna love this the bad thing about our balcony is like it's so bloody windy here so everything literally just flies away so that's why we're so worried but i think it should be okay this is like a corner so it's like secluded Bum -ba -da. Doesn't seem like much to you guys, but it's very good for guys, us. Come, on. come outside. Honey, Biggie, come here. Go outside. Honey, look, come look here. at your new grass area. <laughs> it's a bit wet, so they probably don't want to get their paws Biggs, wet. Fix is right there. <laughs> He's like, I'm following Honey, you. Honey, Biggs, grass. Come on, go outside. Honey, go outside. Look at your grass area. Look here. Look. Wow. Oop, he's eating it, babe. Babe, he's eating it. Really? Yeah. He's. That's actually what it's for. Good boy, Biggs. Good boy. Good boy. So usually when like they have indigestion problems and things like that, they have grass. And 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm so amazed. Hi, honey. That was not the bed. Remember the bed? It was honey was gonna eat it. Yeah, but it's totally biggie. Well, good boy, Biggs. Honey's turn. Oh, she beat. She beat on it. Yes. Good job, guys. Well done, honey. Well done. Well, can you stop filming? <laughs> Time to do a little haul that you guys never asked for, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. So, the things that I bought is first thing, I got a headphone jack. Fun fact, I'm actually DJing tonight, which is the first time in like months ever since lockdown, so that will be exciting. I need to figure out if all my stuff still works and whatnot. But I literally just bought a bunch of just things because it was so cheap. So, the first thing I got was this crop t-shirt which is from Glassons because it was $4.99 it looks very small so I think it's meant to be like a tight fitted crop tee but the material I'm surprised at how nice it feels I also got this from Glassons which is just like a another like crop zip up singlet as well this here was $9.99 like what the heck and then the other place that I got so many things from is from Supre and now I know I usually cringe I don't know why I feel like Supre just has such a bad rep for some reason and it just reminds me of like my teenage days but everything i got here i spent a total of 40 dollars so let me show you everything that i bought for 40 bucks so the first thing i got a pair of just like shorts i actually really like this color and it's got like this little ribbing detailing on the shorts don't know how much they were i'm pretty sure like five dollars five dollars for these shorts cannot go wrong i got a top as well sorry this is like a leotard top this here Everything in the store was no more than $10. So this here was $10. I also got this kind of like singlet cardigan type of thing. You can unbutton it or you can wear it buttoned up. I feel like I might need to adjust the straps because it seems a little bit low. But this here was also $5. Like what the heck. And then I also got a skirt. This is not really my vibe but I really do like it. So I feel like... This will be a cute little summer skirt. This one here was also $5. What the heck? And I'm so surprised that I actually found things in my size. This one, I was literally just waiting at the checkout. And I was like, should I get it? Because it's $5. Or was it $7? $7. I got this one, which is a yellow dress. It's very, like, summery and just easy to wear. I don't know if I wear yellow. I've never worn yellow before. But it's first time for everything. So I can just wear this with, like something over the top of it because it is quite like thin and then I also just got like a white skirt which I don't know if I'll ever wear this but this was also five dollars as well what the heck so that's all the things that I bought how bought me some towels from Sheridan because they had a sale I think it was 50% off so pretty much we got two towels buy one get one free and these are the identical towels that we already have so he's just replacing them because every time he dyes his hair, he uses a good Sheridan towel and like the bleach and the toner has just made it turn like this orangey color. So I think he felt bad because I always kept complaining. So we got two new towels, which I'm so excited about. So now I can get rid of the orange ones. And then that is pretty much all for me. I'll let Hal show you what he bought. He only got like three things but he spent like probably 10 times the amount I did. <laughs> Quickly, also I didn't even see this, but I just also got a black singlet right here and a white singlet right here. So these are just, I got so many, so many basics. So I'm so excited about that. Welcome back to another episode of Me and Biggie Buy Dumb Shit. You guys can't see him, but he's here. No, I actually did not buy dumb shit this time. Um, I bought an ACG uh, vest. It's actually really cool. I really, really like it. I just want to... Give me one second. Now you can understand why he's lying like this. Uh, ACG vest right here. I'll sort of stand up. Oh, I'll kneel down. So you guys can see. Kind of feels like a fisherman's um, vest, to be honest. But I really like the ACG brand. Um, basketball is back as well, which I'm super excited about. So I definitely had to get more uh, socks. These socks are never on sale. Never. Three pairs of socks for 25 bucks. How expensive is that, babe? That's insane. $25? $25 for three pairs oh of socks. God. That's why I really always try to buy these. And last but not least, I did not get this at South Wharf. But, 
stock X, hit me up buddies. I want that stock X plug, I really do. But this is not out in Australia as of yet. The triple white dunk lows. Everyone will think it's an Air Force One, but it's an actual dunk low. Not gonna lie, I can get these for retail. I did not pay retail for this, definitely. I paid too much for this. And um, I do want a whole bunch of these just because I like how this leather wears out compared to the Air Force One. And it really does just look like an Air Force One, but people won't be able to tell at all. Anyway. Let's go. Anyways, guys, we're going to end the video there. Thank you so much if you've made it this far. Comment down below or let me know if you guys prefer like vlogs where we combine a few days together or if you prefer us to just vlog like a full day. I feel like sometimes at the moment, I just forget to vlog the full day just because I'm enjoying being out of lockdown. But I realize being in lockdown is so, so tiring. We wake up early this morning to go to brunch and just have things. And now I feel like I need to go for a nap. But anyways, today's notification shout out. Since I haven't done it for a while, I'm just going to choose a whole bunch of people. Shout out to TKL underscore 03. Also shout out to Alaya Kamako. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Shout out to SBSB. And also let's do another one. Shout out to Lisa Fields. So I'm going to definitely try and end the vlogs properly from now on and do more notification shout outs. So if you ever want to shout out in the next video, all you just have to do is comment down below and let me know. Do you guys prefer multiple days into one or just the one day? I hope you guys are having a good day, evening or night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. Bye.